guys welcome back okay so as you can see I have quite a bit of a mess here on my makeup desk and it's because like I oftentimes do when some new palettes come out I like to go through my collection and kind of pull out dupes and just kind of swatch them and you know see if they're palettes that you guys already have just in case you're kind of trying to figure out if you want to buy these palettes or not so i wanted to do a swatch party have a little fun with you guys today something i haven't done in quite a while so the palettes that i just received are these cute little hershey hershey's kiss palettes from glam light they're so adorable okay and so i bought the whole collection and of course i already have palettes in my collection that are somewhat similar but not identical so we have this beautiful purple one we have this gorgeous blue one we also have this delicious milk chocolate one we have this gorgeous little pink one here really really pretty we have another brown toned Hershey's Kiss type palette. So I did go ahead, go through my collection, pull some palettes that I think are similar, just to see, you know, how similar they are or are not. And you can go through your collection, see if you really wanna buy these palettes, or if you already have these color stories, or if you're like me and you don't care and they're so cute and you wanna buy them anyway. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do today. <laughs> Sorry about the mess, but it's just gonna be a swatch party and we're just gonna have some fun, okay? So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. I did kind of, you know, create a little bit more of an organized situation for us to look at these palettes and just do some comparisons. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the Glam Light palettes. I'm not gonna swatch all the comparison palettes because we'd be here forever, but I will kind of hold them up and just let you take a look and kind of compare and see, you know, discuss how close they are. But before I jump into that, I wanted to take a look at the other items that came in the collection aside from the palettes, which I didn't already mention. So this is the little lip gloss kit. There are four glosses in here as you can see very very pretty so i just wanted to open this up right quick and do some quick little swatchy swatches because i'm curious myself as far as these lip glosses go so let me do some quick swatches and we'll take a look but they're very very pretty look at that okay so this first one here is cookies and cream it looks quite light um but we'll see you know how it swatches yeah very very light definitely would have to use a lip liner with that but even still it might be a little light for me but looks like a really pretty gloss okay so next let's just kind of let's do this one this one is almonds so that's gorgeous it has kind of like a gold look to it so let's see how this looks okay so that Oh, that's really pretty. It's kind of like clear, but it has like gold shimmers in there. So yeah, that is very, very pretty. That's what she looks like. Next here we have milk chocolate. So that's what milk chocolate looks like. It actually kind of looks like it has a little bit of a like mauve tone to it. So let's take a look. So let's see here. Yeah, for sure. It's like Kind of reminds me of like a mauve type chocolate gloss. I'll pull back just a little bit so you can see. But yeah, very, very pretty. That one I would definitely wear. And then this one here, special dark. <laughs> special dark, let's swatch her. I'm not really into like the dark, dark glosses, but oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. It's like that dark, beautiful chocolate color. So yeah, all of those would actually look really nice with lip liner, except this one is probably too 
too light for my liking so those are the glosses it also came with this cute little um hershey's kiss face sponge so so cute and it came in this box here so i just wanted to show you guys what the little packaging looks like because you know glam light is like all about the packaging and this sponge is really cute nice and soft so that's what we have there okay so let's jump in with this first palette so this first one here is the milk chocolate with almonds palette this is what it looks like it's a really pretty light yellow shade and the eyeshadows in here are like the warm tone browns beautiful pop of gold some really pretty kind of like copper penny shade shimmers super dark brown up here so let me swatch this one right quick and then we'll take a look at some of my similar palettes in my collection so these are the swatches for this first palette glam light shimmers are just to die for i mean they're so gorgeous the mattes are beautiful too you know they're kind of blending into my skin nicely because you know i'm a chocolate girl <laughs> but yeah these are the swatches so let's take a look at some of my similar palettes okay so i just propped the glam light palette up <laughs> so that i don't have to hold it but this first palette here is my wild child palette from ColourPop. sorry about the glare but this is my Wild Child palette. And this is what the Wild Child palette looks like. So you can see all those, a couple of the shades look somewhat similar, like this shade here and this shade here, and maybe possibly like this shimmer here and this shimmer here. For the most part, they are a bit different. This one goes way, way deeper, the Glam Light, than the ColourPop does, which is not surprising, <laughs> okay? But it gives you kind of the same feels, but this one does not go as deep and does not have that beautiful pop of gold in here. So just looking at that, similar, but yeah, not quite the same. Next, I have here this Chocolate Seduction Palette. I got this from Clarity Cosmetics. I don't even think that they are selling this anymore, quite honestly, so I'm sorry if you fall in love with it. I think this one is actually sold out. But as you can see here, very, very similar color story with the Glam Light definitely give me the same feels with that pop of gold in there the beautiful warm chocolates does not go as deep once again doesn't have that super duper dark deep chocolate shade but definitely has the same feel so if you do have this palette you know you don't necessarily need that one probably um, unless you just really really need that dark dark chocolate shade so yeah very similar both palettes absolutely gorgeous and i do love clarity's quality for their shadows as well as glam light glam light has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas now this is the chocolates by juvia's a lot of you guys might be familiar with this um this palette here although it does go very deep it doesn't have the beautiful vibrant shimmers that the glam light palette does so this palette absolutely gorgeous makes a beautiful dark chocolate eye look but for the wow factor with the shimmers that you get from glam light you don't really get that from the juvia's place their shimmers are pretty but glam light shimmers are out of this world so not really the same same kind of color story but doesn't have that beautiful pop of shimmer that you might be looking for next i have here my la rock pro palette this is the soleil so they do have two palettes the other one i'll be showing later um this one is the warmer toned palette from la rock pro and it does have the same kind of warm earthy chocolatey shades does not go as deep once again they do have some absolutely gorgeous shimmers in here as well as you can see if you look a little closer closer their shimmers are really beautiful i actually like to use these palettes a lot just to grab them to do everyday looks still not the same wow factor as the glam light shimmers not at all and this one does not have that deep dark brown but you know, some people might not wanna go that deep. So if you have this palette, then you're probably okay. It also doesn't have that beautiful pop of gold though. This one has this kind of like, I will swatch that 
because it is really pretty. <laughs> but this one has this um, really beautiful kind of coppery gold shade. It's not quite as yellow gold as the Glam Light, as you can see, but it's still beautiful nonetheless, okay? So if you have this palette, you're probably good to go unless you need that darker shade. And lastly, for this color story, I did pull my Give Me Glow Sweet and Sticky. I don't even think I've used this palette yet. I did buy it when it first came out. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful palette. Six shades. It has a really, really pretty deep dark shade up here. Has this gorgeous kind of I don't know, how would I describe that brown, but kind of like a peanut butter brown, kind of the same as this one here in this palette. This one has like a lighter yellow shade, does not have the beautiful gold shimmer, but it does have some of its own beautiful shimmers, as you can see. <laughs> It has its own beautiful shimmers in its own right. Um, I will go ahead and swatch those right quick. I'm trying not to make this video too long, y'all. But some shimmers just deserve a good swatch, you know. So these are some of the shimmers from the Glam Light. I mean, I'm sorry, from the Give Me Glow. Give Me Glow has amazing shimmers as well and mattes. I love Give Me Glow's formula. Um, just like I love Glam Light. So yeah, Beautiful Shimmers does have the deep dark chocolate, beautiful peanut butter brown. If you already have a beautiful gold shimmer in your collection, more of a yellow gold and you like that, then you're good to go. Um, there's some of these other beautiful shimmers, but I think that, you know, it is a comparable palette. Not exact, but same type of feels, you know? Okay, you guys, so let's move on to the cooler tone chocolate. Uh, kiss palette this one is the milk chocolate palette but it's definitely a cooler toned um eyeshadow palette as you'll see here absolutely gorgeous beautiful shades beautiful shimmers but it's not as warm as the um almonds palette so let's go ahead and swatch this one Okay, you guys, so this is what this palette looks like. This one, like I said, it is more cool tone. Um, it kind of even has like that gray, like a grayish tone feel to it. This shade here, you can't even really see on my skin tone. And that one is this shade here. So that would definitely be an excellent blending shade for me or transition shade for me. This one here. So yeah. This shimmer, absolutely gorgeous. You can see that kind of duo shift in there, really pretty, but I really, really like this kind of cooler tone color stories. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of the palettes that I pulled that I feel are, you know, kind of close, same type of color story. So first one here is the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions. This is an excellent palette for doing smoky type eye looks. Um, this one I have to be careful with because my black somehow got damaged, got broken. So yeah, I definitely have to be careful when dealing with this palette. Okay, so let's just take a quick look. So as you can see here, the Glam Light palette does not have a black in it, obviously. But they both have kind of like that gray tone, cool tone you know, earthy, neutral vibe and feel to them. You know, it has like this really pretty kind of like um, silvery toned shimmer. Uh, same here in the Huda Beauty palette. There's some warmer toned shimmers in here, beautiful gold based shimmers. Um, I highly doubt if any of these shimmers in here are really similar to that really pretty shit, yeah, that, that's a no. That's a no, and <laughs> that's a no. So Glam Light, you know, they do kind of have the lock on the beautiful shimmers. They just do. But as far as like similar color stories and tones, I think these two are quite similar, quite honestly. Okay, next, I do have this palette here from LA Girl. This is actually the Keep It Playful palette called Downplay, and... I use this occasionally. I don't use it that often, but like I said before, I do like to keep palettes like this close by for whenever I just want to grab like a neutral shade to use. It has the beautiful transition shades in here, very similar to the Glam Light palette. Does not have a beautiful pop of gold though. 
So that's kind of like missing, you know, with Glam Light, this shimmer here and this shimmer here, just kind of take it over the top. But there are some beautiful shimmers in here. This gorgeous like silver tone shimmer. This one has like a really deep, dark, smoky type shimmer. Um, these are a little bit more chunky, but they are beautiful though, okay, for LA Girl. Even though they're chunky, they are still beautiful beautiful shimmers okay like what okay la girl okay so it's a beautiful palette in its own right but it does have that same cool tone smoky chocolate feel to it and yeah i would just say that gold is really you know the big factor that's missing in here Okay, so I have another one of my La Rock Pro palettes. This is the Noir. So this is the one that's more cool tone um, compared to the, you know, warmer tone palette that we looked at, looked at a minute ago. So as you can see here, definitely more cool tone, more gray tone type um, shadows in here. Let me give you a closer look. These palettes are beautiful. I actually really love them. Quality is great, very easy to use. I really, really like these palettes. So anyway, I think this one is kind of like similar to this Glam Light palette. Kind of has the same feels, same vibe in here. I would say um, it doesn't have a deep, deep, dark chocolate. It has kind of like, it has a black and then it has this darker brown. So you can kind of mix them together and get the same vibe beautiful shimmers just like the other Lorac Pro palette and then you're getting your cool tone you know kind of uh transition shades in here so yeah I would say same feels same type of vibe doesn't have a let me take a look at this shimmer here actually oh lord have mercy oh y'all <laughs> these palettes oh look at that you see that Gorgeous. So it's like, you know, even though it's not the same as the Glam Light shimmers, I'm trying not to knock anything over. It's a beautiful shimmer. You know, it has beautiful shimmers on its own in here as well. So yeah, um, I'll just do a couple more just so you can see what I mean. And this is, you know, it's a pro palette. So, you know, you see that gorgeous shimmers in here from the pro palette. So yeah, really pretty, very similar. If you have this palette, then you're good to go. Now, this last palette, I'm not 100% sure as far as the comparison. Not that familiar with this palette. It's newer to my collection from ColourPop, and I haven't even used it yet. So this is the ColourPop um, of Quartz palette. So as you can see, it has those gray kind of... Um, I can't think of the other word that... Um, what is it? Anyway, gray toned <laughs> palette. So as you can see, this is a very cool tone. It doesn't have like the pop of warmth in here with this shade and the gold shade. You would have to incorporate that from a different palette. But as far as like giving you that same kind of cool gray tone feel, this does have the vibes. I wouldn't say it's anywhere near like a you know, replacement or dupe type palette, not in the least, just because of the facts, fact that this one has the warm pops in it and this one does not. But just looking at this palette, it's really pretty. It is really pretty, okay? So <laughs> I kind of want to get familiar with this one because it's gorgeous. But yeah, I just wanted to look at them side by side. Some similarities like this shade here, it looks like it's really, really close to that shade there. But other than that, maybe, you know, some of the shimmers can come close. Um, this one here, oh, that's really pretty. Um, and let me swatch this one. I'm just curious. Well, I'll swatch these three. I'm just curious as far as the swatches. I have glitter everywhere, you guys. These shimmers are like super duper glittery. So, okay, those are beautiful. Um, yeah, they're not comparing to the glam light ones closely at all maybe this first one here but yeah they're very very pretty so if you're curious about this palette it looks um okay settle down it looks really really nice but yeah not a comparison dupe for the chocolate 
Okay, you guys, I feel like I'm talking too much, so I'm going to go through these next three pretty quickly. This next one here, oh, so gorgeous. This one is the Lava Cake palette. So gorgeous in pink. I love this one, how it looks. It's really, really pretty. I mean, look at these shades. It has a beautiful, warm, burgundy shades, bright pops of pink. And y'all, these shimmers, when you see them, you're going to just die. So let me swatch this right quick. Okay, you guys, so these are the swatches. Do you see how beautiful that kind of like purple toned shimmer is? These mattes, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. This burgundy, oh, it's gorgeous. These shimmers are beautiful. You see that? Gorgeous. Okay, so let's just run through. And the thing is, I couldn't, I don't, as many pinky, burgundy tone palettes that I have in my collection, I have nothing that encapsulates this whole palette here. So I have like combinations of palettes. Like if you have them, then, you know, you might not need this particular palette. So the first palette that I picked out of my ColourPop collection is this pink tone palette here. Very, very pretty. So it has all of the pink shades in it. It's too hot. Okay. And I do have the other like, uh, what is it? Nine pan pinky tone palette. And, but listen, we can't talk about all the palettes. Okay. But if you look at this palette, you can see here, gorgeous. You can see here the beautiful bright tone, pink tones in this palette. Um, It's a really nice, cute, small, you know, palette to have in your collection if you like smaller palettes. But if you're looking for some of the beautiful bright pops of pink, then you probably already have them in here. But in combination with that beautiful pink palette, I have this other color pop palette here that has some beautiful kind of like mauve tone shades in here but this beautiful deep burgundy is what I was looking at specifically and you know these lighter shimmers so this one is the color pop on a wing it's called on a wing and so you know it's just kind of looking at these two palettes together and just vibing with them you know together combined like okay you know if you have these two palettes then you're probably good to go and then lastly, <laughs> out of ColourPop palettes, I grabbed this over the cocoon um, because this shade here, oh my gosh, this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous shade here, which is this one that has kind of like a red pool to it. Very, very pretty. I was looking at this shade and I was like, you know, that looks a little similar, maybe not as rich, but it definitely looks similar to um, the shade that's here in the Glam Light palette. I'll just put a little bit there so you can see it. So you see how similar that is? Very similar to that shade. And then for this palette here, of course, I was looking at the deep dark burgundy, you know, just kind of comparing it to that deep dark burgundy shade there. So very, very similar. You know, this one pulls maybe a little bit more purple, but Honey is close enough to me. And then, you know, the beautiful pinks. I don't think I really need to swatch the beautiful pinks. But, yeah, gorgeous. So, I was just looking at those three palettes from ColourPop. And then also, clean my fingers off. I have this palette here from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. It's called the Protonic Pinks. And in this palette here, this one has glitter, so I'm not even paying attention to that. But it does have like, you know, the bright pink shade. It has also has this beautiful shade here, which is similar to this. It has a lighter pink kind of blending, you know, shade. Um, so with this one, you don't get the super beautiful shimmers and whatnot. You do get glitters if you like glitters instead. But it still has the kind of like burgundy and pinky tone vibe. Not the same though. Definitely not the same. 
the Juvia's Berries palette. I decided to go ahead and pull this to take a look because I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes from Juvia's Place because I love the deep burgundies in here, the beautiful warm um, toned pinks. So even though this shade here is a little bit lighter than this shade, still gives me that beautiful warm pink feel. You have a beautiful bright but deeper pink in this one. So if you like a darker pink, then you're good to go here. Beautiful shimmers in this palette in their own right. I haven't found any shimmers in my collection that look just like um, this one here. I'm sure if I go through my singles, I can find a dupe for this. This kind of gray, purpley toned shimmer for sure. These two easily duped. Light pink and kind of like pink champagne but this one here maybe not so much but these two palettes definitely the same type of vibe same type of feel I love this love 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 it from Juvia's and then lastly I have the Berry Royal palette from Clarity Cosmetics another one of my favorite indie brands as I said before when I was talking about their chocolate palette this palette definitely not a dupe either as you can see, not a dupe by any means, but <laughs> it still has the beautiful berries, the beautiful bright pink. It also has the really, really deep, you know, burgundy, and it has gorgeous shimmers in here. Um, they're a little bit thicker, so you kind of want to be careful. You don't want to just go ham in there, but beautiful shimmers um, in this palette, so... Just wanted to kind of show that just in case you have that palette. You might be like, oh, I don't really need that one. So, yeah, gorgeous shimmers in here for sure. Really pretty. So, I would say it's comparable. Not the same, but comparable. Okay, you guys. So, let's take a look at the blue palette. So, this one is the Cookies in Cream. Ah. Oh. So, so cute, okay? And I love this little tag that they have on here. It's just, it's adorable. Okay, so this is the blue palette here. As you can see, very, very blue. All the shades of blue. <laughs> and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So let me swatch this right quick so you can take a look. Okay, you guys. So these are the swatches for the blue palette. Very, very pretty. I noticed up until now, all of the palettes have had three shimmers and three mattes, but now we are looking at four mattes and two shimmers. So this is what we are working with, with the blue, very pretty. So let me just show you the palettes that I pulled from my collection that I feel like, you know, similar blue color stories. So the first one I grabbed was this ColourPop, another one of their five pan palettes. This one is called Rumor Has It. Funny enough, I haven't used this palette yet, but absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty blue color story. Um, just holding it up to the swatches. If you didn't know, you'd probably think, oh, that I swatched this palette <laughs> on my arm. You know, honestly, you'd probably think that because it's a very, very similar color story. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it is Truly similar enough to where if you have this and maybe you don't need this super, super dark blue, then you're probably good to go because they're very, very similar. Next, I have here my Juvia's Place. This is the Disco Party by Fumi Desilovo. I love Fumi. She's so gorgeous. That's what she looks like in case you don't know who she is. But this is uh, one of her collab palettes with Juvia's Place. Now, a lot of people kind of shied away from this palette because of the glitter. It's only four pans, so the glitter does kind of take away from the value of the palette if you don't like glitter. It is not, just looking at it, not the same, of course. It does have this beautiful deep, deep dark blue, which comes in handy. This blue here, or should I say this shimmer, it kind of has like a like a turquoise or a blue green pull to it. So not really the same when it comes to, you know, the vibe and the color story in the Glam Light palette and the glitters, of course, there's no glitter over here. So that makes it different, but these two palettes might actually be beautiful companion palettes. 
just looking at them, they will probably work really well together. So if you have this palette, maybe you can combine the two because they're very, very pretty. Next, I have another ColourPop palette. This is the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. Um, I actually really, really love this palette. <laughs> it's really pretty. I love this palette and I love the purple palette from ColourPop. Oh, they're purple. I can't even think of the name of it right now, but the purple palette that's like this style, the nine pan. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So anyway, but yeah, if you look at this and you look at these swatches, you see it's similar. The ColourPop palette doesn't have like the blue green type feel or vibes in it. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do this. Okay, so yeah, the ColourPop doesn't have that kind of teal or aqua vibe to it. It does have a beautiful deep dark blue, kind of like a sky blue, you know, ocean blue. <laughs> Has some really pretty stuff going on. So just looking at them side by side, they look similar. They definitely have some similarities. They both have beautiful shimmers and mattes in their own right but they're not the same. So, you know, you can feel free. And I, I really do like Glam Lights formula better than ColourPop. What I love about ColourPop is just the fact that it's a nice eyeshadow formula, but they're so freaking affordable. And they have like 5 million palettes to choose from. It might seem, I still have this on here, so just ignore it. It might seem like they keep coming out with the same thing over and over again. And granted, they probably do. But for, you know, those of us that like a deal and like a lot of shades <laughs> in the same color family, ColourPop is a really, really great affordable option. So anyway, I think it's beautiful. Not exactly the same. Somewhat similar, but, you know, if you don't wear blue eyeshadow a lot, you definitely don't need both. So next, I have this new palette from Juvia's Place. Have not used this yet either. It is in my... Um, shop my stash stack to use. This is the Olori 2 palette. So I was pretty surprised when they came out with this gorgeous, gorgeous blue color story. Very, very pretty. And I don't know, are these glitters? Yeah, I think maybe these two. No, this is like a shimmer with glitter in it. That's really pretty. Yeah, you know what? I don't even think that these... Yeah, when I'm just digging in, these aren't glitters. I wasn't really sure because I haven't used it yet. But gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So as you can see here, very, very blue. Doesn't have a lot of the kind of teal type pool to it, except for this one shimmer down here that I'm going to go ahead and swatch. These shimmers do feel a bit more hard pressed than some of their other shimmers. See, as you can see here, gorgeous really pretty um but yeah this one here is like the only one that has a little bit of the teal pull to it so i would say similar not the same this one has of course more light shades to play with and work with on your eyes as opposed to the juvia's there's dark shimmers in here there's no dark shimmers in the glam light. So they are different, even though, you know, they kind of have the same vibe going on. Still different. Now, listen, y'all know this BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Bubblegum Palette. <laughs> Lord have mercy, this palette is to die for. If you did not get your hands on this palette, I'm so sorry for you. So sorry for you, honey. <laughs> I don't know if it's still available or not, but this palette is amazing. I love it. It's beautiful. So as you can see, same type color story. It really, really is. Um, for these palettes, for BH Cosmetics, the um, what what uh, the formula? That's what I'm trying to say. Spit it out, KK. The formula is amazing. So you got the deep dark blue. You know, you got these other variations of blue. This one is very similar to this one. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that good. I know my lighting is kind of crazy. But this one looks very similar to this one. Um, you do have a lighter shade to kind of blend out like this one here. You have lighter shimmers in here as well you know, like this one. So I would say this one is pretty doggone close. Pretty doggone close. This shade here, 
um oh my gosh it's so pretty um and this one here i would say are the only ones that kind of pull a little bit you know with that blue green or teal in there just because they have a little bit of extra going on as you can see there so kind of like you know you can get the same type of vibe you know with this palette as with this glam light so if you have this palette you don't need this <laughs> don't 100% if you have this honey you don't need that but yeah they're both pretty they're both pretty okay you guys lastly we have the purple palette and this one here is the special dark look at that gorgeous special dark and so this is what this palette looks like I love the fact that they have a deep dark shade in all of their palettes just perfect so let me swatch this one okay you guys so these are the swatches for the purple palette listen i might be a little biased because i love purple but <laughs> this color story is just so gorgeous this purple is so freaking deep it looks like navy blue it looks like a really really deep navy blue eggplant type shade it's so freaking dark this cool tone purple, gorgeous, warm tone, lighter shades, the two shimmers, really, really pretty. So these are the swatches for the purple palette. So let's go ahead and take a look at the palettes that I pulled that I feel like, you know, are similar from my collection. They might not be the same, but, you know, same type of feel and vibe. So this first one here, once again from ColourPop, this is the Cashmere Forever cashmere forever and it has some really gorgeous lighter medium tone purple shades in here of course does not have the deep dark shade that is in here that like eggplant navy blue navy blue type shade but for some of the other lighter kind of lilac -y type shades definitely a vibe definitely a vibe you know this one here which looks very similar to this is actually a shimmer so they're not the same this one here is like a sequin shade the matte that has like a little bit of shimmer in there like little specks in there but i would say combining this palette if you have this with another purple palette that has darker shades in it then you'd be good to go but this is really really pretty a nice start you know to the mix I also pulled here this Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions, um, another one of my, you know, kind of like really pretty purple palettes that I have in my collection. This one has a little bit of a burgundy pull to it, so not quite the same when it comes to the color story and the vibe doesn't have like this deep dark blue tone purple in it. Um, and like I said, it does kind of pull a little bit more rosy but it is a beautiful purple palette and if you're not super duper specific as far as you know what you're looking for in a purple palette you're going to get a beautiful purple look just not the same so if you have this palette it's not the same as this one it's different next i have here another one of playing and makeup by yolando's little um smaller palettes this is the mixy mauves and it is a really bold <laughs> purple tone palette there is a glitter in here which kind of you know takes away from the comparison this shimmer here it has kind of like a a mix uh, it, it's really really pretty though okay really pretty let me swatch it for you I don't even know how to describe it it's so gorgeous it's just beautiful so anyway <laughs> has a beautiful shimmer in there which makes it kind of exciting and special it has more of like cool tone but like how can i say it's like a mixture of warm tones and cool tones in here the background of this palette kind of throws it off a bit but it really does have like the same vibe and feel as this palette this super light purple here is really comparison comparison or comparable to that this shade here is comparable to that um this shade like i said even though it's not as deep and dark it is a pretty dark shade it just this palette does not have like this lighter shimmer here 
But to be quite honest, this shade here is really actually looking like this one. Let me swatch that. Okay, because it's looking kind of similar. Maybe not exactly the same, but it's looking kind of similar. Let's see. Oh, yes, it is. That is actually quite similar to that. Hello. Okay. And then this shimmer here is just absolutely beautiful. It's actually more pretty than either of the shimmers out of the glam light, in my opinion. <laughs> so this palette has some really beautiful potential to it on its own. So I would say if you have this, you definitely don't need that. You just don't. And then lastly, I do have the Violets by Juvia's Place. So this is, you know, another purple tone palette by them. It does have, you know, kind of like the cool tone feel to it. Has a deep, deep, dark purple up here, which is comparable. Has this lighter tone, you know, purple here, which is slightly comparable, but not so much because it's not as dark as that one. This one has a dark shimmer, beautiful. This one has a light shimmer, comparable to this, quite honestly. Um, beautiful shimmer here, and this is different. So even though it's similar, it does have enough differences to where you might want to use these as comparison palettes, but they're both beautiful. Same type of color story, not exactly the same though. So that is it, you guys. And you know what? I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to keep you. If you enjoyed this kind of like old school YouTube swatch and comparison party, definitely give me a like so that I can know if you guys are still even interested in these type of videos. I enjoy doing them because I have so much makeup. It's like I love being able to compare palettes and share it with you and kind of help you make educated choices on your purchases unlike me who just buys everything. So <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you. Give your girl a like, leave me a comment. Let me know in, down in the uh, comments if you guys have palettes that are similar to these and maybe you want to share them for all of us so we can be like, oh yeah, I have that too. So yeah, because I definitely didn't go through my whole collection. So that's it y'all. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.